No. Where are we? Buffalo. Who are we gonna go see? Your mama. No. That's the thing. Yeah. In beautiful Buffalo. Well, mainly just to get away. Wasn't necessarily about House of Pain, but. Because Florida wasn't enough. <laughs> the is great. Right. As you See? can tell from the green in front of us. I have my lucky leprechaun with me. In green. In green. <laughs> This is your idea. This you want to go get sausage listen, in your mouth? Stop. This is my idea because they do have really awesome sausages. And, um, yeah, it's really good. He has no idea because he's never been there before. It'll be excellent. I promise it will be superb. Awesome. Excellent. And they make good drinks. This is what we do in Buffalo. Buffalo! Buffalo! Say Buffalo! <laughs> He's not excited, but he will when he gets to Bali Hills. I promise. Be fantastic! Hey guys, it's Tuesday. I keep wanting to say it's Monday. Um, we have cats right now. Or I'm in the process of cleaning the bed, and um, so I'm like just laying on my mattress on the memory foam mattress. Natalie was up here, but she heard Dusty and decided that she had to be a brat and. do brat things. I'm really tired. I don't know why I'm so sleepy. Well, I opened this morning, so could be a potential as to why I'm sleepy. Um, I should be working on Zumba choreography, and I just like zero motivation. Like, I put the sheets in the washing machine, and now I'm just like, wait. I actually don't have any motivation to actually put them back on the bed. I'm sleepy. Don's still at work and it's like 5 o'clock already. But this is usually what happens around this time when it like after um, daylight. Is it daylight savings time? What is this? Yeah. Maybe daylight savings time or something like that. Um, he works later since it gets darker later so I usually get home and I have like three or four hours before he gets home and I try to like you know do some form of housework before he gets home today it was supposed to be the bed and now it's just like er, no desire to put anything back on but I have to because now this is just the memory foam um I have I still don't have the title for the key yet which is really just upsetting I'm like I just want the title so I can drive the car again 
because the white truck, it's so funny, the white truck sits so much lower than the Kia does, and today I felt like I was driving in a low rider. <laughs> it was like the weirdest experience. I just, I'm like, I'm used to being up high now, and now the S10 is like sitting low to the ground. It's just weird. It's super weird. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wednesday. I think it's, let's see, the 20, 20, 22nd. <laughs> this is the 22nd of March. Um, I'm headed home. I taught this morning, and as you can tell, I'm in this loud freaking truck again. Really want that title to come. Like, really, I feel like I'm shouting. Shouting, I'm sorry, it's just this thing is so loud. The key is so quiet. Ah, I just want my Kia back. Um, so yeah, we're still waiting on the title, which really sucks. Um, Kia Sophia. I just went to the mailbox. However, what did come in the mailbox, not as exciting as a title for my car, but I did get my new Keurig cup in. If you didn't know, I like this donut shop brand. So I found one. This is vanilla cream puff. Yes. And then the other one I have, I thought I ordered three. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I just ordered the two. I don't know. This is the donut shop sweet and creamy. It claims that you don't need milk or sugar. I will be the judge of that. If I didn't have, um, uh, what's it called? Coffee already from Dunkin' Donuts. I might, might have possibly tried that, but we'll try it soon. We'll, we'll, we'll get it a go soon. All right, guys. So I'm getting ready for work. Um, I just make sure I'm clean um I'm obviously I'm not gonna wear a tank top to work because it's mm, like 20 degrees outside but warmer weather is coming because I looked at the um forecast the extended forecast and it's now gonna be in like the 40s and 50s I think tomorrow it's gonna be in the 30s but then after that it's gonna start to get into the 40s and 50s which is nice because I don't know. I'm just, I think being in Florida, it's made me be like, okay, I don't want any more snow. I just I completely just want um, hot weather because I enjoy sitting outside on my little couch with a glass of wine and my book and just 
I like it. I like gardening. I like having tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, raspberries, all sorts of delicious things. I miss that. Not so much the weeding of the garden, but I think this year I'll be better at it. I hope. I hope I'll be better at it this year. I also wanted to, while I'm waiting for my moisturizer to sink into my skin before I put foundation on, I went to Sephora Monday. Um, when we were in Buffalo because the mall in Buffalo has a really big Sephora and I bought two new things and I haven't actually thrown away the carton container thing of it yet because I wanted to show you what it was and what the name was so I bought this right here I love Bite Beauty this is the Agave Lip Mask um, and it's in champagne that's what it's Called. It's got a little bit of a tint. It's not that bad. Um, but it has saved my, like, the little bit that I've used it so far, it has saved my lips. I have such dry lips because of the winter being so bad. You know, the weather up and down, up and down, up and down. It's been wreaking havoc on my skin and my lips and just everything. Hi, Dusty. Hi. Um, so I got this. I'm super impressed. They have it in three different kinds. I got one with a little bit, it's got a little bit of a pink tint, that's why it's called champagne, but um, there's one that you can get that doesn't have a tint, and there was another one, but I don't remember what it was. And then the other thing I bought was the Urban Decay D-Slick. Um, it's a finishing makeup setting spray, but it's for oil control too. Um, so that's nice, because I have oily combination skin and Sometimes the foundation doesn't want to stay. Yeah. I like it. If you guys found anything like really cool new things at Sephora, let me know down below. I'm also looking for a new toner. So let me know if you've had any success with toners. Leave that down below as well.